be over there, or let's do it this way. I tell you, I am going to be lost. Lost as a goose in tall grass is the way I look at it. So with that, I'd really like Miss Vicki to come up and just say something. Well, good afternoon. It is good to see you on. You are going to be one of the things that I miss the most. I love when we get together and do things together. And whether it's 4th of July, and I can't always be here, but I love to sing with you and to just be here. Um, you're my people. And so I appreciate, number one, your love, your support that you have shown. Um, whether I make mistakes or goof up or whatever, you love me in spite of that. And so I appreciate that. You're so kind and so generous. Um, you are a family. And I just, when he asked if I wanted to say something, I first said, no, I will cry. But I just, <laughs> and I probably will be crying from now until we leave. But I, because you're our family, when we moved, our, our whole 32 years of marriage, 30 of those have been here. So you have become our family. Um, Barbara Fitzwater has been my Montana mom for so long, and so many of you have come into places and they're so dear to my heart. And so it's it's bittersweet for me in leaving because I love you so much and I'm so comfortable here. And so God's pushing me out of the nest, and I've said I'm too old for this. And this is this is not how I thought it was going to be, but this is the way it is. And so we are we are rolling with it. And um, but I just want you to know that. Your support for us, not only in the last few years, but just as long as you've been here. And some of you have been here a long time, and some of you are shorter, but you have just loved us. And um, I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to be a part of services with, that you are part of, and that you have just been a family to us. Um, we couldn't always be home for Christmas. We couldn't always be in places where our family was, and I do look forward to that. That's, that's the good part that I keep reminding myself. Mm -hmm. I can now go for my sister's birthday and be with her or be with one of them that I've not been able to do. And um, so I, I look forward to that, but I just want you to know from the bottom of our hearts, you will be surely missed, and we will certainly keep tabs on what's going on here and uh, that we love you. We appreciate you, um, and... If I have another opportunity, you'll hear the same words out of my, my voice because we do love you, we will miss you, but we know God has great things for this church. Church is stable, church is great, and this has been a wonderful place to raise our families, our family, and to be a part of. So, Mike, you will do great. You are a good student and a good learner, and uh, <laughs> he's going to do great, and others will fill in our places, and God's just going to take this church to new heights. So, I would appreciate your prayers. Daniel says he's going to get a tractor on this 80 acres of land, and I'm like, what am I doing? I don't know. That is not what I really, really want to do, so I'm going to let him have at it, and I'll probably go spend time with grandbaby with my mom, and uh, then figure out what life and where life leads us. So I can't imagine, I told someone this other day, I said, I know there are pastors here before us. I can't imagine someone else saying they're the pastor and his wife will be staying in Baptist church. That is just so hard for me right now, but I know that God has a, has a special person in mind, and they will be great, and he will lead them here, and you will know it, and uh, he's got a plan for you as a church and for us as a family. So we look forward to that time with our family and closer to our kids and grandkids as we have more than one, but right now it's just one. So we do look forward to that, and I just will be praying for you and appreciate your prayers for us. I did that without crying, so I'm very proud. So. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, Ms. Vicki, um, you're still going to be in town for um, at least a month or so. And uh, so, whenever you and Daniel would like, if you want to come over to my place, I'll teach you guys how to use a log splitter. And uh, so you can use that at your own property. <laughs> okay. Um, with that, we will get to our program for the day and uh, just invite Rita to come on down. And Rita will share with you what the uh, program looks like. Thank you. Perfect. All right, very good. Thank you, Pastor Mike, for that delicious food, which I'll eat after I get through. I just get to, I'll spray to eat it before I say it. But I know it will be great. And first of all, I wanted to say that our son wanted to be here so badly. I think I told a lot of you he was going to be able to come. 
but he's a minister and he had his best friend pass away in mm. Texas. And so he went there to preach the funeral. And it was yesterday afternoon, but there was not a plane that leaves to get here. It's two, about 2,000 miles away. He could not get here by the day. The plane would have gotten here today about three or four o'clock. So that totally <laughs> missed the program. So maybe another time, because he plays instruments, he sings really well too. So maybe another time. <clears throat> today, I'm going to be playing the piano and singing a lot of different styles of music that I hope you enjoy and that you will like and maybe pick one that you like best. And uh, I wanted to say that you have some song sheets and you'll know when that song comes and I'll tell you, sing. I may say sing and so be ready to sing when I hear that comes, okay? Um, and uh, I, I just want to let you know that I'm here to praise the Lord and I just pray that you'll be blessed by every song, every note. Everything that's said and done is all in praise and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to play a song that that I wrote a long time ago. And then I'm going to play three hymns that I like to take uh, piano arrangements. I like to take a hymn and make a piano arrangement on it. So that's you'll recognize the song, so I don't need to tell you that. So that's the first part of the program. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I've played the piano all my life. I mean, literally. My mother played the piano at church. And my dad led the singing. It was a small country church, and so there was nowhere that didn't have a nursery. So mother would hold me in her lap while she'd be playing. Of course, I was a little baby, I wouldn't play the piano. I was like this. And she would let me kind of slap my hands, and she developed this something in me that wanted to practice. So I did. I practiced and practiced and practiced. So I, as music has been a part of my life all my life. And I know when I retired from teaching school, I thought, well, you know, they gave me a rocking chair. Of all things to give somebody, <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what you're supposed to get. I said, am I just supposed to sit here and rock the rest of my life away or what? But I, I wasn't ready to retire, and I don't think the Lord was ready for me to retire either. So he's helped me to get past that. But I just want to, like I say, praise the Lord with everything I do and all of it. Amen. So thank you. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to take a big drink water real quick.
sex song I'm going to sing. It says, He's never failed me yet. I don't know if you know the song, but I hope you hear the words because some of them go kind of fast. And I have, maybe somebody said I have an accent. I don't know if I do or not. <laughs> <Somebody said I did. laughs> I don't hear it. Maybe y'all do. I don't know. Just in practice, and this is the way it sounds.
I'm a mother, you are too, I'm sure you know what I mean. Well, he kept practicing and practicing and practicing, and he felt where he could even play it nice and soft a lot like this. He might add a few notes in as well. Practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. That's what it takes for music or anything else you're doing, right? Okay, well, little Tommy's teacher said, Tommy, how'd you like, like to play with both hands? And he thought, <clears throat> both hands? That'd be really exciting, but it's hard because one hand goes one way and the other hand goes the other way. So they loved hearing play. In fact, he had some friends who were going to get married, and they said, Tommy, would you play for a wedding? And he thought, hmm, I'm the only song I know is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. <laughs> but he couldn't refuse. They were good friends. He was a good sound of the wedding. to play for a funeral, and he thought, ooh, what would I play for a funeral? I've got to play something appropriate, but the only song I know is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Oh, so this is the way it sounds at a funeral. <laughs> practicing and practicing and practicing. If you're a music major, I know Vicki knows this too. You have your little practice rooms, you go in and you play your lessons all hours of the day and night and practice, practice, practice. So little Tommy was doing that. And he became, he was playing one day actually, and a talent scout walked by and they heard him. He said, hey man, you're talented. How, how, what are we working to do? You come make some CDs for me. He said, okay. So he started making CDs. And before you know it, his music was known throughout the United States. Everybody knew little Tommy. He's called Crawling Little Tommy, you know, six six now. But he kept practicing and practicing and practicing. One day after he was such a big success, he said, you know, I'd like to go back and visit my little hometown. They were so good to me, encouraged me, and I'd like to go visit them and, you know, just see how they're doing and just tell them how much I appreciate them helping me. So he went back to his, flew back to his hometown. He got off the plane. You know what they did? They rolled out a piano. And they said, now, Tommy, now that you're a big success, would you please play your most requested song? Sunday, 
Some things you can only be for two to four or whatever, but God is with us all the time. I'm sure you know you wake up in the middle of the night. Does anybody wake up in the middle of the night besides me? Anybody else? Okay, there's some hands. Good. <laughs> I do that. And so you start praying for everybody in the whole world and all your family and just everything you can think of. And then finally, God gives you some peaceful sleep. But uh, this song is the uh, called The Unseen Hand. And it reminds us and assures us of that comforting fact. And he's always with us, and he'll be with us till the very end. And that, that's really a praise. I mean, we don't have to, we know he's not going to cut it off. He's going to go to the very end of our lives and the very end of his time, whenever that is. <coughs>
with stuff. I mean, regardless of what's going on, if we keep our eyes on Jesus, we know he's going to lead us through and bring us through the whole thing. 
the last song we're going to sing before we all sing a song together at the end. We've only got two more songs. I don't know what time it is. I'm afraid to look at the clock. <laughs> uh, it's, it's no more night. And just think how exciting it'd be. It says, uh, there's no more night, no more tears, no more pain. And uh, that, that just, that, that's something for me. You know, just thinking of, we won't have all those problems. It'll all be gone and we'll be joyous and we'll be praising the Lord forever. It's just very exciting. So here's my song. May again praise the Lord with a song and bless all of y'all. <clears throat> And just sing with me. I hope you love this song as much as I do. And it is well of their soul to love Jesus Christ. Isn't it?
say is, wow. Amen. I would say that uh, we certainly can't walk away from here disappointed, depressed, down, or low on our spirits to be able to listen to this wonderful music. We do appreciate you. And I notice Martha over here on it as well with my soul in the, in the backdrop. It's like when you hear her voice matched up with others, it's like an angel in heaven. Uh -huh. We just thank you, Martha, very much. And um, I want to invite a special guest to come up and, and address you uh, for a moment. Uh, Dana Lemon. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Rita. That was wonderful. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I missed most of it. Um, in just a moment, I just really wanted to say hello and uh, just express my appreciation to so many of you for so many years of life together. Um, you have been an incredible blessing to Vicki and I. And I, I just want to, if you happen to be at the town hall meeting last night, you heard me say this over and over again, but I want to say it again. Uh, we really are excited and at a tremendous place of peace about the next steps of life for us. And we're pretty excited about the next stages for life for East David. So um, I, there is this odd mixture of grief <laughs> and this uh, incredible feeling of relief uh, as well. That, uh, that the load of, of life and ministry carried for all these years is, is, uh, is about to be lifted. So I, I found a lot of relief in that. But we sure love you and are so grateful for the opportunity to have done life together for these three decades. So uh, just we really wanted to say thanks. May the Lord bless you. And uh, please, this is a season for us to pray hard for our church and for God to really work in special ways in the next season. I just believe the greatest days are ahead for the church and it's going to be a great time. So. So, thanks for letting me say hello, Mike. I appreciate it. May you guys uh, have a wonderful afternoon. You may do. I'm absolutely honored to close this. Let's bow together and let's have a prayer. Jesus, we're so thankful for you as our Savior. We're grateful for your Holy Spirit, the promise that you made that you needed to go away so that he could come and be our comforter and our guide. Holy Spirit, you're so faithful to do just those things, to guide us, to comfort us, to fill us with your presence to never leave us, to never forsake us. For these things, we are so grateful. Lord, I pray for these, my brothers and sisters, that in these years of their lives, you would bless them with an incredible awareness of your presence and a sweet, sweet fellowship with you, our Savior. So guide us in this day, in this day forward, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a good afternoon. Thanks.